I put deionized water as my negative control. My, uh, my positive control is in the second tube. And this time it is a glucose standard. Then I have my bread, cheese spread, banana and milk. So for the reducing sugars, I'm going to add some Benedict solution to all of them. So again, it's blue in colour. It's very similar in colour to the Biuret reagent that was used for the protein. So if you look at all of them, they all look pretty much the same blue. But that's because to get the sugars to reduce, I actually have to add it to a hot water bath. So I have numbered all the tubes, but I'm just going to set them all in. Make sure you have labelled them before so you can identify which ones is which. And then you just need to leave it for around five minutes and then I'll show you what they look like once they come out of the water bath. Okay, so now the sugars test has taken place in the water, I can show you the results. So the negative control of deionized water has remained the blue of the Benedict solution. The next one is our positive control, so it's gone um, sort of a yellow-orange in colour. The more sugar there are, the brighter the yellow or the orange will be. So now on to our bread. Do you think this has sugar in it? Or reducing sugars? On to our cheese bread. Do you think this has reducing sugars? Our... Um, banana then, do you think it has reducing sugar? And finally, in our milk, do you think there is much sugars in here?